What's the cat doing now? Oh yeah? What's it playing with? <laughs> so is it raining over there? No, it's not raining over here yet either. So what's on channel two, huh? Oh yeah? Channel four? What's on channel three? Oh yeah? They're doing their hair? Oh yeah, a little makeover? What did they look like before? Were they ugly before, huh? That's great! That's awesome! I should be out here in like 20 minutes. Yeah, I'll, I'll try and call you before that, all right? Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Bye. What are you doing here? Huh? What are you looking for over there? I'm sorry, I just got off on the wrong floor. Yeah, man. right. Who do you think you're kidding? <laughs> I knew he'd get you. Now here you are. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm not a perp, okay? I don't. What, what's a perp? What's a perp? I'm not a perp. I didn't perp anybody. What's a perp? Shut up! You breached sector 12. Uh, what's sector 12? Uh, I, I just got out on the wrong floor. Yeah, right. You look like a perp. You're a perp. He's a perp. Listen, man. Don't call me man. Don't call him man. He doesn't like that. All right, that's cool. Listen, no man. All right. Listen. I didn't know I was on sector 12. I got I went in the elevator and I and I also I got out and then it was I realized I was wrong. I got out on the second floor. Sector 12. Right. Sector 12. And then I realized I was wrong and I wanted to go up. So now you admit you're on sector 12. Oh, I didn't know I was on sector 12. You guys are calling sector 12. You're a liar! We want names. You work for someone? When was the last time you perpetrated sector 5, huh? Yeah, we had a bunch of breaches there. Where? Who sent you? Purpose. Nobody sent me. What are you guys talking about? You're lying. What do you think you are? Terrorizing everybody. Think you go around breaching our sectors whenever you want? We want names. I'm, I'm not trying to breach your sectors. There's that's a lie. I'm calling the chief on this one. I'm calling the chief. Well, I just thought of it. No, you don't. Because I'm the boss. Says who? Says me. Because... I got some yard. They know. Yeah, I do. You know I do. You can't say nothing to that. Besides, I'm stronger than you. Oh yeah? Prove it.
Chief's gonna want some evidence. Let's go to his possessions so we can find. Here we go. What's the number for this? 9177654321. Why? Don't worry about it. You better look in here. We got a live one. Well, look at that. No, those are for the self rolling cigarettes that I enjoy. Likely story. I told you he was a perf. He's definitely a perf. Nancy here. Who? No, wrong number. Well, looks like we got enough evidence. You watch him while I call the chief. My pleasure. Chief? Yeah. We got the perp. Yeah. He was snooping around Sector 12, but we snagged him. I mean, I got the perp. Not we. Me. Yeah. Um. Um. No, not yet, but, um, but we will. Yeah? All right. Chief says we need to, uh, get a confession. Wait a minute. You can't get a confession out of me because I didn't do anything. I wasn't perfect. Confession shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, we got ways of making you talk. Don't hurt me! This one's called Chinese water torture. <laughs> <laughs> this is nothing! Even if I did do it, I wouldn't confess to anything. <laughs> Am I the perp? Who's the perp? Who's the perp? Where's the perp? Am I the perp? It's you, right? Right? See what you did? You made him pass off! How are we gonna get the confession out of him now? Oh, you did it. Shut up! Yes, you did. Shock therapy. What? Great idea. No. Yes. It feels good. It feels good. Yeah. Great idea. Let's do it. Hold on. You got my shocker? What? My shocker. Damn. I left it at the base. Wait a minute. I told you I was leaving it at the base. How am I going to shock this guy if I don't have the shocker? You know something? This is what I'm going to do for you. All right? I'm gonna go all the way back to base and get the shocker. Cause you wanna know why? Cause that's the kind of boss I am. You watch him. I'm gonna get it. My pleasure. What day is it? Uh, it's Tuesday. What? What's the date? 
Shut up! So, uh, what's your name? What do you want to know my name for? Because I never got it. Right? I mean, the other guy's Manzi. You know, I figured we got some time to, you know, to kill. Uh, to burn. I mean, we got some time on our hands. I figured, you know, we should chat. We should rap. You know? What should I call you? Call me Agent K. So, uh, Agent K, what's the deal with your boss? What? I don't have a boss. No one's a boss to me. Why I ought to... That's what I'm saying! He certainly acts like your boss. I mean, why, why are you in here working while he's outside, huh? Because he's getting a shocker for your ass. I mean, that guy's bossing you around all the time. You may have a point. Let me ponder this for a moment. When do you think he'll be back? In about 10 minutes. Then listen, we don't have much time. You gotta let me out, you know? That guy's crazy, he's nuts. There's no telling what he's gonna do. He's gonna, he's gonna kill me, and then he's gonna boss you forever. That's what he told me when you went out for coffee. Huh? Why don't you untie me? We'll gang up on him, you know? Tie him up, give his ass the shocker, then he'll give us the confession, then he'll be gone, see? Then, I, then, then you can be the boss of me, and, I, and you can take, take charge of me, and, and yeah, I'll take orders from you, and, and you can boss me around all you want, huh? What do you say, boss, huh? Nobody's the boss of me. Who's he think he is? I'm the boss of me. I decided I'll be boss. There isn't much time. You gotta let me out. Quick, now, 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 right, now, right. now. What the hell are you doing? I'm tied in the ropes. He's trying to talk me and overthrow me. He's trying to mutiny. What? No, I wasn't. I wasn't trying to mutiny. I, I'm just trying to get out. He was in on it! He, he was gonna untie me and we were gonna take over! He's lying! Shut up! Ah! Yeah, right. He's a liar, alright. He was lying to me before. <laughs> when does all the lying stop? Huh? Give him the shocker, you got it? Of course I got it. Man, he always delivers. But first, let me soften him up a little. Nobody knows the trouble you're in. Nobody knows your <laughs> Give me the shocker, I'm ready. I'm waiting for you. I'm ready, go! Alright then. This production is ready to get started. This case is gonna get cracked. No shocker! No shocker! <laughs> and that's when I perped. Was that the first time? No, I've always been a perp. How many times have you perpetrated Sector 12, huh? Ten. How many? Huh? A hundred. And what about Sector 5? Two hundred. Sector 4? Four hundred times. <laughs> That's it, Chief. We got it. We got the perp. Um, actually, not we. Me. I got him. No, sir, Chief. It was me. I got him with my shocker. No, he didn't. It's me. It's all my bag. I solved the case. I cracked it. You ain't the boss of me. Wait a minute, wait a minute, I confessed. Call the police, have me arrested. Yeah, right. <laughs> Too late, I'm calling the chief on this one. I want to call the chief. I got the phone. He's not answering. He probably went home. Yeah. It's late. He doesn't live far from here. I'm gonna go tell him. Well, I'm coming with you. No, you're not. I want to be there. Too bad. I don't want you uh, pulling a wool over my eyes. You think I would do that to you? You think I would pull a wool over here? I don't know. Ah!
this knot is tough. It's either a farmer's knot or a sailor's crotch knot. I know, right? Do you know what this reminds me of? What? That De Niro movie. Do you know the one I'm talking about? Um... It's just reminded me of it. Do you know what I'm talking about? The mission? No, the one. That one's good too. No, the one where De Niro, the guy's in the room and De Niro just comes flying in. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, they'll never catch me. <laughs> Man, I've been taken from this place for years and they ain't got a clue. Sometimes I'm right under their noses and they don't even see me. <laughs> I was here before they got here and I'll be here long after they're gone. Man, <laughs> it's classic. And look what they did to you. This is terrible. You see what happens when you, when you give someone just a, just a mission of authority? Something should be done about that. I mean, this is a travesty. But hey, look, don't get me wrong. I only rob them blind if they can afford it, you know. You know? Well, that's nice of you. <laughs> You're delirious. <laughs> no, what I'm saying, if they can afford it, like that old poor Mrs. Johnson, that old poor widow in room 2H, I just take your liquor. In fact, that's where I got this bottle, right here. <laughs> because, because if you're poor, I mean, the last thing that you should be doing is getting drunk, right? I mean, the last thing that you should be doing is drowning your sorrows in a bottle, right? I mean, you should be out there trying to get a job, trying to better yourself, not sitting home on your big fat keister, getting all drunk, getting all sloppy, right? Right? You know what I mean? But don't tell old Mrs. Johnson that. <laughs> she likes her liquor. She hides them all over the house. But she can't fool me. Oh no, no, I'm too smart for her. One time she hit all those shooters. You know what shooters are? You know, the little bottles. The little, the little ones that got about an ounce in them. You know the ones I mean? Man, you are out of it. <laughs> but anyway, one time she had them all tied to, she had like four or five of them tied to a string. And she hit him all the way down into the toilet. I mean, all the way down. Good hiding place, right? Not good enough! <laughs> I had the rubber gloves up in there, baby! <laughs> I was in there, I had my arm in there, swishing around, toilet water up to here, and I fished them out, boiled them up, and they were all good. <laughs> when she came home, she went right from that bathroom. <laughs> you should have seen it. She put her hand in there, and she just, she started, I was watching from the window. She was jumping around, cursing me something fierce. She was only gone for two minutes, man. She looked like she was about 30 years younger. I did her a favor. You see that? Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you? Huh? I told you Rudolph wasn't taking a walk in the park. Shut up. What the hell are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, ah! Ah! Oh, oh, ah!